good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode here on european confessions the following story that you're going to be listening to it was sent to me by one of our dear sisters who is a regular follower of our channel so she said the message that she sent to me reads like this hello brother nash how are you can you please post my own story as hidden identity my brother i am a woman who is currently staying here in europe but i do have a house there in south africa where i regularly stay as someone who has made enough money i retired at a very early age coming here to uk it was because one of my uncles he had came here to the uk like a very long time ago so we came through ancestry and i got the visa and i started staying here in the united kingdom after that i then brought my husband but this was against the wishes of my family since they knew that my husband was someone who loved women a lot he used to cheat on me when we were still back home in zim he cheated on me several times until i had lost count and i had given up on it and i told myself that all men they are just the same they are going to cheat on you anyway but my husband kept on cheating on me and when i brought him over to the united kingdom that was when he revealed his true colors to me when he finally got his own residency he then started telling me that he had never loved me and the way that he used to dehumanize me the way that he used to mistreat me telling me that i was worth nothing to him this totally destroyed me and it destroyed the way that i i started to view men i started to see men as if they were just objects to me as someone who was making a lot of money i then got into the habit of actually approaching men and telling them that for a price I, I wanted to sleep with them i started sleeping around brother nash i started sleeping around brother nash with a lot of guys and as if this was not enough i then started patrolling the streets of social media looking for guys that were desperate guys that wanted to be with women that could actually afford to give them a good life and at that time i had recently purchased my house at that time in south africa even the guy who was the real estate agent he was my first victim but lucky for him i was not yet into this evil occultic rituals when i slept with him the way that me and this guy slept together is that when i landed in south africa i was staying at a hotel and i then got in touch with the real estate company that he was working for and we organized the date where i was supposed to go and view this house he came and he picked me up at the hotel where i was staying since i didn't know south africa and we started to have a, ch a nice chat and when i told him that i was permanently based in europe i could tell that this guy he was into dating all the women that had cash when we arrived at the property the moment that we got inside the house and locked the doors we gen the moment that we got into the house and when we locked ourselves in that house then we started to make love we made love so much that we forgot to use any protection at all we slept together a couple of times until he returned me back to the hotel and for that i gave him the deal and i then purchased the house but this guy he was a married guy he kept on telling me that he was feeling bad about what he had done i later found out that this married woman that he was claiming to be married to it was just one of his own rich blessers a woman who was also married to a man who is like very wealthy from south africa i then returned back to zim in our own family i can say that we i come from a family of a long line of traditional healers so i used to have a lot of dreams sometimes i'll be surrounded by a lot of pythons or i'll be in the water collecting some herbs or i'll be taught by very tall men that were like giants in my dreams and when i started speaking with some of the elderly people in our family then they told me that 
this was a sign that i was supposed to become a traditional healer i got so excited but they told me that i should not interpret each and every dream thinking that if i am going to have a dream then this meant that it was what i was supposed to do because they told me also that the problem that happened was that there was one of our uncles who later on went and murdered another person because he wanted the powers to become a traditional healer instead of his own elder brother so i was advised to at least stay away from this because there was a lot of things that had happened in the family so people were now trying to move away from the traditions that used to happen in our family and moving into christianity trying to clean themselves up because of this issue that had happened that our uncle had murdered someone in quest of spiritual powers but my brother i was obsessed by becoming a traditional healer i was obsessed by the dreams if i would go to bed and if i would not have a dream talking with my ancestors seeing those pythons those huge snakes i would actually feel so sad then the dreams started to come the more that i chased after these dreams that was when the devil responded to my cause i had a dream one night i saw this man he was a handsome looking man and he seemed like an ancient hero and this man he told me that he was going to help me he was going to walk with me but he wanted something in return i said what do you want in return this man then said that with he then said that with time you are going to get your answer i am going to reveal to you what kind of a gift that i want from you so my brother when these dreams continued what would happen is that when i would actually come across a person in the street i could tell that person or give that person a prophecy and i saw myself like starting my own channel whereby i was going to be helping people using the african traditional ways because i thought that indeed i was going to become very powerful but there was more that was going to come at that time i could not leave at that time i could at that time i had to leave zim before i had found a traditional healer that was going to guide me so that i can also become a traditional healer i left zim arrived back in south africa and i came back to the united kingdom when i came back to the united kingdom i got so sick brother i went to different hospitals but no matter what kind of medication that they were giving me they were unable to help me out i was feeling so much pain in my body until one night i saw a black cat this cat my brother just appeared out of nowhere the windows were closed the doors were locked so i wondered where this cat had came to it was just sitting in the corner and when i woke up from the bed trying to chase away this cat then this cat screamed at me and it said why are you trying to chase me away when i am your husband and i was amazed when this cat said that it was my husband and to hear a cat speaking i wanted to scream out in fear but this cat it just looked at me and it was like it had hypnotized me with its own eyes this cat then told me that some of the dreams that i was having like having sexual intercourse with some of my ex-lovers in my dreams it was not my ex-lovers but it was actually this this cat that i was making love to for it was my husband this cat on that same night proceeded to make love with me physically it said that it was tired of making love to me in my dreams it wanted to fill me physically so it took me to my own bed whilst i was in that hypnotized state and i opened my egg my legs wide then that cat came on top of me and it proceeded to make love to me but to my surprise this cat it actually has a man's manhood this was really surprising to me so with time brother nashi the more that i communicated with this cat i told it that 
I wanted a better deal. I did not want this cat to keep on making love to me because it was really weird and I started to have stomach cramps and I knew that all of these stomach cramps and the pain that I was feeling in my uterus, it was as a result of sleeping with this creature, this spiritual creature physically. The deal that was offered to me was that this cat was going to create a female cat with me. So we made love and I fell pregnant, Brother Nashi. For nine months, I fell pregnant. My stomach never grew as such, but I could actually feel that there was a baby that was growing inside of me and i then gave birth there was a lot of blood that came out and on the night when i gave birth i actually heard that there was something that had popped out of my private parts after i had been in pain for several hours i just had a loud meow meow and i knew that i had given birth to a cat I gathered my strength and I looked and indeed this was a cat, a small black kitten that I had given birth to and it was a female one too. This was the covenant that I had done with this demonic creature. So this kitten as it grew, as it became a big female cat, I was told that all that I had to do is that I have to find constantly, I have to be on the lookout looking for men that I can sleep with. The blacker they are, the better. So I usually target those ones that are darker. Why I target these guys that are much more darker, I do not understand. Maybe there is something that happens in the spiritual realm when I sleep not with a man that is very light skinned, but that is very dark. This, those are the men that I usually target. And these guys that I target, they'll be thinking that they are actually targeting me because of my money. I have had plenty guys who are South African on my vacations when I am at my vacation house, which is in South Africa. What they don't know is that at the time when I'll be making love to them, they won't be making love to me as such. I'll be actually making love to that cat using its own human manhood and that guy when he inserts his manhood into my private parts he thinks that he's inserting his private part into my vj but he'll be actually inserting his private part into the vj of that cat that will be actually sleeping on the bed and you will be holding the cat making love to that cat it is just the guy that i will be with in bed he won't see the real thing that will be happening these are my own rituals that i do <sighs> dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by our dear sister she said that she also got herself involved with this thing called we can magic we can magic black magic your strange things do happen in this world